Hi. With grazing between, stumbling around in those mists halfway up the third mountain, I got ripped off. My pockets picked, turned around till I didn't know which way up without a map or compass. But I screened the finished film at a US festival and immediately got a call pulling me off the festival circuit before I'd even begun because someone in LA wanted to sell it. Looking them up, they were involved in over 200 films on IMDb, so on virtual paper they seemed legit. So I made my way post haste across America to LA, but unless you're self-distributing, which is a very real proposition these days, don't ever put your own money into sales. If they're genuine, if they're the genuine article, they won't expect a penny. They may still drive a hard bargain, expecting your film to fund their first class lifestyle forever and a day, such that the film never really goes into the black and so never makes you a penny, but at least you weren't taken for a lump sum up front, as I was. These shysters then pulled a US distributor on board, allegedly, who charged another $500 for posters and effects, and I was tied in exclusively for two years. Two years in which she never lifted a finger to sell the film, she just lived the life of me and many other filmmakers like me and their hard-won $15,000. The only good news in any of this was that it was at least only two years, but it left a very nasty taste in my mouth. You go through so much to make a film and then the downside is not only do you get blinkered and desperate, you get really tired, the tired of the long distance runner. And at that point, you really can be easy pickings. Don't be that schmuck. I'm that schmuck. Don't be me. Be the guy who walks by laughing in the knowledge that you know better and would never fall for such a cheap trick. I eventually got over the bitter aftertaste enough to pull the film out of the drawer 12 years later, dust it off, update it to a recognisable digital format of ProRes and put to good use the advent of online aggregators and distribution. BLM also had a lot to do with this, having made a feature with a black female lead in 2008. It actually came into its own after the unfortunate events of 2020. It's now on, I think, eight channels worldwide. I'll talk more about that later. Mm -hmm.